Select the required SATA test button on the main menu with a single click. Unlike Smart Supra, the SATA program can use data from a previous test, and so we should choose the patient from the database if they have been tested before. A list of all patients is displayed alphabetically with the tests in chronological order. Choose the most recent test for the patient and click the Load button. If we selected a Zata test, then the results will be loaded as a starting point, rather than using age normals. Press the Rx button for help on trial lens additions. The table in Help displays the recommended additions by age. By default, the test starts with the right eye, OD, and on the 24-2 test pattern. The interstimulus interval can be adjusted here. Clicking plus makes the presentations faster. The volume of the beep can be adjusted here. The blind spot location and foveal threshold buttons are disabled until the test is started. The fixation point can be switched between single and four point fixation here. Ensure the patient is seated comfortably with their left eye occluded and line their right eye up in the video window, using the chin rest buttons to adjust the height of the patient's head. Ensure the patient is looking at the chosen fixation and press the Start Test button. A series of demonstration stimuli is followed by a series of presentations to locate the blind spot before automatic testing starts. This symbol indicates the patient is pressing the response button. The test progress and status can be viewed here, with false positives rate being an important patient attention indicator to follow during the test. To stop the test at any time, press the stop test button. To resume, just press the play button again. The patient can also pause the test by holding down the response button. The time between presentations is tracking the patient's response time and can be manually adjusted by clicking the buttons. The test finishes when all 54 points have been thresholded. We can now realign the patient, press the OS button and repeat for the left eye. Again a demonstration is followed by blind spot establishment to enable fixation loss tests. At the end of the test, the grayscale and defect plots can be viewed on screen. The foveal threshold can be measured by selecting here and confirming. The fixation changes to a four-point diamond pattern below fixation and the patient should be instructed to look in the centre of the pattern. Press play to start the foveal threshold measurement. The status shows the test is running. The result is displayed in the status bar. The test can be extended at any time to include the 32 pattern without restarting. Again, press play to start the extra testing. The extra points for the 32 are filled in around the 24-2. Once finished, a report can be generated by pressing print. The software will generate a two-page PDF of the charts that you can print, save or email. It is an industry standard printout, containing the usual indices, mean defect, standard deviation and hemi-field test. When saving, 
The patient details are already populated on the form. Add any extra information and press save. To retest the current eye without losing the data from the other eye, click here. Click here to exit back to the main menu. The Zata 10-2 test covers the macular region. It is identical to the 24-2 test, apart from the location of the test points. It tests 48 points in the central 10 degrees. Again, the printout is identical, apart from the area covered. The fast variants of both tests will run approximately 20% faster than standard, as they have looser termination criteria.